We're gonna pick a random product from the Amazon search page and we're going to model, texture and render this in Blender. We can then use this model to make some cool footage like this and then we can convince somebody to pay us some money to make more of these types of videos. If you want to learn more about the tools and techniques that you see me use in my videos, I put everything that I know about modeling in Blender into my new ebook, so check it out, the link is below. First of all, let's make a little game plan. Rather than trying to copy this exact item, we're gonna try to make our own variation of it. So we're gonna make a bottle which is filled with pills. We're going to use a custom label. So this item right here is gonna be more like an inspiration for us rather than something we're trying to replicate. In any case, we're gonna open up this image, right click, save image as. I made a new folder where I'm gonna put the references and the textures that I'm gonna use for this project. And I'm going to name this reference. Now in Blender, we're going to go to side view, shift A, image, reference, and just open up this picture which we just saved. Now we can use this as a background image so we're going to place it on top of this axis i'm going to reduce the opacity of this image so that way when i throw it in the background it's going to be a bit easier to look at now we just have to make a simple model of this bottle so shift a mesh circle let's do 16 vertices because we're going to subdivide this fill the circle with f then extrude it up to the neck of the bottle bevel this top segment with Control b and then we'll take this face from the top extrude that upwards turn it into the neck then it's supposed to get a little bit wider over here so we're going to place a loop cut right here in face select mode use alt right click to select this face loop extrude right click and then s to scale and shift z to scale on the x and the y axis now the cap is going to have to be a separate object so to create the cap i'm going to add another circle this new circle is going to have six 64 vertices because I don't intend to subdivide this. Fill that circle, extrude it up, inset, extrude it up again, extrude it up again, scale it up a little bit, extrude it up to the top, and we're going to add a bevel at the top like this. Then bevel this edge loop, and maybe we can bevel this part one more time. Now correct the normals, and we have these lines around the cap. We're going to use a normal map to make those. If you want to learn how to make a normal map like this, I just did this in another tutorial from a couple of days ago. Go watch that tutorial. It's going to show you exactly how to get this type of normal map and how to apply this to the bottle. We're going to inset the bottom, inset it one more time, and lift this part up a little a bit and inset it again so that when we subdivide this this is going to control the shape a little bit better now we can do control 2 to add some subdivision surface object shade smooth we're going to add a couple of loop cuts like this to control this shape a bit better maybe we can use another one i'm also going to add a loop cut up here i need to bevel this edge i want a bevel on this edge loop over here that needs to be a small bevel with two segments and a shape of one i'm also going to do the same thing on these edge loops right here now the bottle's ready then go to object shade smooth on the cap and we can also add some bevels to control the shading on this you might be tempted to see select these edge loops and then go to control E mark sharp and then if you go to shade auto smooth and you crank the angle all the way up these angles are just going to have sharp shading the problem is that this is not very realistic and I'm going to switch my matte cap to try to demonstrate to you why this is not so realistic right now it's perfectly sharp which you'll never find in real life if we clear the sharps and instead we add a tiny bevel here notice how the reflections behave differently on these edges you can see a tiny little reflection all along this edge this is what makes it look realistic so if you just mark it as a sharp it's not going to look that good while this way if you just add a tiny bevel it's going to look way better i also want to add this little tag that's hanging around the neck of the bottle so first of all we have to make a texture for the rope and here's how you do that First of all, add a new circle with five vertices. Move that somewhere to the side like this. Select all the geometry, press Ctrl B to bevel and V to only bevel the vertices. Add a small bevel with two segments on each of the vertices. Then select the vertices in the middle of each bevel. Scale this down towards the middle. And now you can add a subdivision surface modifier to make this a bit more smooth. And it's gonna look something like a flower. Now extrude, right click, and you can lift this up by three units. Add two loop cuts around this whole shape. Now in order for this to be seamless, we would have to rotate this geometry so that the geometry at the top would be perfectly aligned with the geometry at the bottom which means the geometry at the top has to be rotated by one fifth of a circle because this circle is divided into five parts so we have three steps here to rotate by one fifth of the circle which is 72 degrees and if we divide 72 degrees by three steps we get 24 so select these segments rotate them by 24 then deselect the lower segment and rotate by another 24 degrees and then take only the top segment and rotate that by 24 degrees again now if we duplicate this segment and place it on top it's going to be perfectly seamless now this is extremely high poly and it's going to completely ruin our render time so we have to bake this as a normal map to add a new circle this can have let's say 10 vertices and it would be a good idea to duplicate this and place it on top merge vertices by distance correct to normals add smooth shading extrude this right click lift up by three units and you might want to lift this up so it's not exactly at the bottom where you might have some kind of a seam or a margin visible select this edge right here mark seam u unwrap and then go over here and check your face orientation this has to be blue so we're going to fix that with shift n make sure that this cylinder is shaded smooth then in the shading workspace add a new material for this little cylinder around the rope we're going to name that rope normal map add an image texture node new material 1024 by 1024 is fine we're going to name that rope normal map 
check 32 bit float, hit OK, color space, non color, switch the cycles, go to bake, bake type normal select it to active then select the rope and shift select the cylinder select the image texture node set the margin to zero and bake the normal map very quickly you will get a normal map texture right here make sure to save this to your computer and if you're smart you're going to use an image editing program to cut out the normal map copy that to a new image because you don't want to have anything else you want to just be able to tile this seamlessly and now we just need to make a little mesh for the rope around the neck of the bottle so duplicate some geometry like this separate that to a new object this is pretty low poly and we have a subdivision surface modifier on it so it's going to be pretty easy to shape this out into a little string which is hanging around the neck of the bottle we're going to connect that over here apply the subdivision surface modifier object convert to curve and in the curve properties over here we're going to add some depth which is going to add some thickness onto this little piece of rope something like this should do it you can now convert this back to a mesh if you want to you can subdivide this a little bit further and you can always change the thickness by just selecting all the geometry and using alt s now i want this little circular label hanging off of this so i'll just place my 3d cursor over here add a new circle with 64 vertices rotate that sideways and scale it down to approximately what I see in the reference image face grid fill I'm going to take some geometry from up here extrude right click scale down loop tools circle delete these faces in the middle and now this is the little rope where the string is running through we're going to place our 3d origin on this exact point here and that way we can snap that shit to the 3d cursor while the 3d cursor is placed somewhere on the string we're just going to rotate this a little bit so there's no collision or anything like that and then we can use our proportional editing to change the shape of the string and that way we can make it look like it's running exactly through this little hole now the model is ready we just need to prepare some textures i don't really feel like designing my own label in this video so we're gonna go to google and we're gonna type vitamin bottle label just look around a little bit and find something that looks kind of cool i think this one right here is kind of cool but the resolution is pretty shitty so i'm gonna go right click copy image and paint net i'm gonna create a new canvas where i'm gonna paste this image i'll crop out just the label because i don't want to look at the bottle put this on a new canvas and save it and then give me upscale.media where i'm gonna upscale my image load up the label give me 4x we're gonna download the image i'm going to quickly design my own logo because I prefer to not get sued by this company and we're going to name our company mental illness pills because obviously the only way that you can solve mental illness problems is to take pills which are going to get you addicted to drugs but while we're at it now I feel like doing a little bit of graphic design so let's change some shit up a little bit I'm going to use the same colors that I used in my logo on these little lines at the top and the bottom we're going to replace whatever this is with our own color gradient and then we're going to try something just to see if it gets me demonetized so shout out to this company that we took the label from for not suing me apply the sub division surface modifier to the bottle select all the horizontal edge loops around the bottle base press x to dissolve them then we're going to select these two edge loops as well as one edge in the back here Control e mark seam and now we're going to be able to apply the label to this part of the bottle add a new material name that bottle we're going to give this a dark brown color reduce the roughness crank up the transmission because this is going to make it look like glass when we go to cycles and now we need a new material around this area which we just marked with our seams so create a new material slot assign that to the selected area new material name that label and in this new material we're going to add an image texture node where we're going to open up the label which we just designed in paint net so plug color into base color u unwrap and in the uv editing workspace we're going to be able to adjust the uv map and that way we can ensure that this is placed correctly on the bottle now the label is placed on the bottle and you might want to adjust the roughness of this label to make it more or less shiny that's totally up to you i'm also going to make a separate material for this little circular label hanging off the string i designed the custom circular version of the logo specifically for this little object so let's plug that in there i'm going to select one face here shift g select similar normal then i'll uv unwrap that surface and now i can just adjust that in my uv editor i want this to be quite shiny like this and now we kind of fucked up the string thing because we should have made this using an array modifier on which the instant object is one little cylinder onto which we applied the normal map that we baked earlier so we have to redo this i'm going to select everything and i'm going to deselect all the edge loops that go all the way around this string this way I only have circles selected so I can go to individual origins, scale all of them to zero, select everything merge by distance. Now I can turn this object into a curve and we can use this curve with a curve modifier to make our single segment follow it. Place the origin somewhere over here and add a new circle. That circle is going to have let's say 10 vertices. We're going to scale it down to the thickness of the string, extrude it up and lift it up, mark a seam right here and UV unwrap this. We're going to add a new material to that called string, add an image texture node and open up the normal map which we baked earlier. It's called rope normal map, color space non-color, run that through a normal map node and you might have to correct the normals on that but now this looks like one little cross section of a string. Which means if we stack this with an array modifier on the z-axis, we just have to adjust the UV map a little bit and it's going to become perfectly seamless. Now increase the count on this, add a curve modifier 
target the curve which we just made and now just increase your count until this connects. Apply the array modifier, apply the curve modifier. You can even double the scale of the UV map on the x-axis and now you're going to fit twice as much rope onto one unit of distance. You can even subdivide this if you want to, that's up to you. And the last thing we need to do is add a texture to the cap. So that's gonna be black, roughness is gonna be pretty low. Image texture node, I'm going to load up the normal map which I told you about earlier that we baked in another tutorial. This is what the normal map looks like. So we're going to mark seams around here somewhere. You unwrap, and now we got some lines around our cap as a normal map. If you want to place some pills into this bottle, here's what you can do. We're going to remove the lid, delete whatever geometry we have at the top of this bottle, but we are going to need some geometry inside of this bottle, so make sure you create that really quickly. And now we can use a little bit of physics to place some pills in here. First, we need to create a pill. To create a pill, just do this. Shift A, cube, two or three levels of subdivision, apply that, add modifier, cast, factor one, apply that, add a loop cut like this and push it to the middle, select all the geometry from one side of this sphere and push that outwards to shape it like a little pill. You can even add an extra loop cut in the middle, then add another loop cut like this, select all this geometry, and use Alt S to make it a tiny bit smaller. Object, shade auto smooth. We're gonna need a red material, it has to be quite shiny, and we're also going to need a shiny white material. Instead of red, you can use any color that you want. I think yellow would look cooler. Now scale this down to the appropriate size, place it somewhere above the bottle like this, go to your physics tab, click on rigid body, and now if you play your animation, this pill is affected by gravity. The only problem is it's not stopping inside the bottle because the bottle still needs to be a physics object. So select the bottle, click on rigid body, set the type to passive, change the collision shape from convex hull to mesh, and now if you play the animation, the pill falls into the bottle and it stays there. So guess what we're gonna do now? This is gonna be pretty fucking cool. Duplicate this pill a bunch of times. We're just gonna make a big line of pills up here. Keep in mind that this is probably gonna take a toll on your computer. It's definitely a good idea to save this shit before you play the animation like this. This might be too many, let's get rid of a few. Play the animation, and they're all going to line up and fall into the bottle. One of the pills didn't make it, but the others are inside. So we can get rid of this one. Give them a moment to settle down a little bit. And before you know it, you're gonna have a bottle full of fucking pills. Now you can just stop your animation, select all the pills, press I, location, rotation, scale. And then from that point in time and onwards, the pills are going to stay in their exact place. And now you got your vitamin bottle. You just have to figure out how to render this. The easiest way to render it is to just make a simple white scene. Shift A, camera, place the camera in front of the bottle. Adjust your focal length a little bit to make it look cooler. In the shading tab, switch to world, add an environment texture node, load up an HDRI into the environment texture node, and now you can render a beautiful little scene with this bottle. I would like to add more content about texturing and graphic design and this type of shit into my ebook, so let me know in the comments if you think this is a good idea. And if you do think this is a good idea, then we're gonna add a whole new section to the ebook, and then I'm going to try to evolve this ebook over time until it gets to a point where you can learn about product visualization just from that one ebook. Right now, it's all about modeling, and we're also gonna add to that in the future. So like the video, let me know in the comments what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one.